Going from cheapest to most expensive, here are the three present sensors that we currently use to automate our house. First up is the Sonoff Zigbee Human Present Sensor. We use this in my wife's office because she got mad at yours truly for the lights always turning off on her while she was sitting still and working and being a boss. It has worked perfectly to keep me from getting in trouble again. Coming in at less than $17, this is the least expensive present sensor we use. It's very basic with only reporting presence in a light or dark reading for illuminance, but you can adjust the sensitivity of it and the presence timeout setting. Next is the Everything Presence 1 from Lewis over at Everything Smart Home on YouTube. We are using this in our living room since we're usually sitting still when watching TV or a movie. Since we have a specific lighting scene when watching TV, we use this sensor to make sure the lights stay in the correct scene when watching TV and don't turn off unexpectedly. The EP1 is around $50 USD and has not only a present sensor, but also a normal PR motion sensor, humidity, illuminance, and temperature sensors, so you can really customize your automations. It also has tons of configuration settings to fine-tune it, almost too many if you aren't careful. Last, and certainly not least, is the Acara Present Sensor FP2. We use this in our bedroom to divide it up into zones to fine-tune automations based on presence in specific areas. For example, I have an automation to turn a floor lamp on and off based on whether someone is sitting in this chair. We also have zones for different size of the bed to separately control our nightstand lamps. The FP2 supports up to 30 zones in an area and tracks presence of up to 5 people. It can also be set up in fall detection mode or sleep monitoring mode. In sleep monitoring mode, it's sensitive enough to detect your heartbeat and respiratory rates, which is crazy to think about. The Akara FP2 is a true workhorse of a present sensor. It comes at a price. It's normally around $83, but frequently has coupons or is on sale for around $65, and it's totally worth that price in my opinion.